welcome back to this week's video. This week's video is going to be an unboxing. I just received my Kylie Jenner birthday collection stuff I ordered. I didn't order the whole thing or a lot of stuff, but I ordered a few items and yeah, I just opened it to make sure that I just opened it basically. So this is the box. Take this because this has my address. So it just looks like this, it has Kylie with pink hearts, the pink and like white, that has the little note, the note reads, hello 20s with little heart, I'm so excited to share with you my second annual birthday collection, pink is the theme this year, hope you enjoy and have fun, XOXO Kylie, you can pause that if you'd like, that's what the card looks like, I have their like original card, from my first order, this stuff and then basically does this tell you like, where that paper go so I think this this is the shipping paper right here that just tells me um, the stuff I got um, I kind of know the price of it from memory so I did get both of the um, Kylie Jenner loose powder highlighters I got Queen and King um, I heard Queen is very glittery, so I'm, like, curious on how that is. And then I also got next item, which is the Kylie Jenner 20 Lip Kit, because I saw the color and it looked like something I'd really like. I'm actually wearing a liquid lipstick today. I just got back from my grandma's house, and this was there, and I was so excited. I really like the packaging. I think it's really cute, because I like pink. And I like the little glitter. This is like that glitter that like falls everywhere and gets like all over the thing. But it's cute for like vanities. It has like little paper. It's like silver stars with the lip liner and the liquid lipstick. Looks really pretty. I like the color of this. This is the lip pencil. It has silver writing. And it's just like light pink with white liquid lipstick with the classic drips really pretty so i got the lip kit let me i'll swatch this in a second the last item i got isn't like makeup related it's their makeup bag that's my my box cutter right here Open this up. I originally wanted to get the black one, but I never did. Oh, okay, this is nice. I got scared because the packaging, like, you can, like, feel the texture, but this is, like, a, like, glossy coating on it, so it's not, like, real glitter where it's going to fall all over. I actually really like that. It has the pink little K for Kylie, the classic dripping lips. And then I really like this because I like the size of it. I think this is going to be well, a great size for travel. And then it does have a pocket and then it says Kylie Jenner on it. I think this is really cute like for traveling or just like storing your makeup when you're on the go. I just thought it was really cute so decided to get it. It was $36 if you're wondering. It's kind of pricey. But it is Kylie Jenner, so you're paying for the price. But I do actually like the quality of this. Like, I like that it's not a textured glitter cover. And it's, like, a glossiness. I like that. So, yeah, let's get into the products. So, the lip kit I got here, I am wearing liquid lipstick from Anastasia. I'm wearing Dulce, so I'm going to take that off with a makeup wipe. And I'm going to show you guys what it looks like on. So I just finished with the lip liner. This is a lip liner all on. Um, yeah, I like the color. I feel like it is dark for like summertime. I definitely would love to wear this in the fall though, which everyone kind of was saying that this is like not really a summer color. But like if you think about it, like August is the last month of like summer wise, and then you get September. So it's it's actually pretty perfect 
for fall season coming up, I'm now going to put the liquid lipstick on and see how that goes. And um, yeah, you'll just see. So yeah, this color is on the darker sides of the pink. I was kind of hoping when I got this, it would be a little bit lighter of a darker mauve than this. Like a darker, like pink, a little bit more pinker than this. But... I'm not mad. I think the shade I would probably love to wear in fall, which is not something I would really wear for summer. It did go on pretty nicely, and I'm just going to look. It's drying down. Um, it isn't too patchy or anything. You can see it looks pretty full coverage. I'm just not the best at like lip lining. So I was a little bit messy, but it is pretty opaque, and now I'm going to do the test. Um, don't really have anything on my fingers, so that's good that it is a little bit long-lasting. I am going to go to dinner with my family, so I'll really see if I actually like the formula of it, or if it's like too dark. I don't know which one's which. Oh, they say on the top. This is Queen and this is King. So we're going to swatch Queen first. I do admit that these are pretty small, but they're... I heard they're really good from the Vacation set, so I really wanted to get my hands on it this time. I do notice that there is some glitter. It's going to be really hard to show that, like, isn't in the sealed part of it, which is upsetting kind of really mess a little bit messy than I would like. This thing is like really sticky. Okay. So I'm gonna grab a little hand brush. Just, I'm actually just gonna swirl in there right now. Okay. We have some of the pigment and I'm gonna swatch that for you on my hand. I can see where people say it's very glittery for like a highlighter and the texture of it just feels very glittery. I honestly purchased this more for the glitter aspect because of that. I really like like light pink glitters and I like to put them on my eyelids, things like that, but it is very pretty and... I don't think I would use this as highlighter because of like the chunky glitter. I just feel like it would um not be the nicest. I'm just gonna clean up my hand so I can swatch King next to it. I heard that it's a lot like the vacation ones that were like super good and everyone loved them, which really made me want to get these. So that was clean and now we're going to King. I'm like super big into highlighters. I've got a new makeup um, storage thing and I'm really happy with it. There's so much more storage, but I still get so much makeup. So it hasn't helped, but it like works out really better. And I have one drawer, like my top drawer, just full of highlighters. Thinking of doing like an updated makeup collection because I did mine in the first day of Christmas for Vlogmas. Although I don't know if I should wait like a full entire year. So leave me comments in um, the description if I should wait or if I should just do it. Let me know. So I'm just going to add a little bit, bit to there. I'm just going to pick some up. Looks like this. Doesn't feel as glittery that is definitely more fine just making a nice little swatch this is king and then this is queen it's also a little bit more opaque which i really like because i picked up less with this shade and it's like blinding and this is like very light where i think it'll also complement my skin tone so i really like this do I think some of the stuff was worth it for the price point? No. I think the liquid lipstick, I had better formulas. It is nice and I like the color. But honestly, um, I like Wet n Wild's um, 
Mega Last Liquid Cat Suits. They're a really good liquid lipstick. I have a video that I'll link down below that I did like comparing Kylie Jenner's formula to the Wet n Wild liquid lipsticks. So definitely check that out in the description box. But yeah, I I think it's mostly the name is why it's so expensive. I mean, $30 you do get two items, so it like averages them at $15 each, which is a bit... It depends really on your idea of what expensive is for makeup. Um, these were being $14. It doesn't come with a lot. It's um, 14 ounces of the powder. It's not a lot, but these aren't super expensive for a collection. They're $14, so I think these are okay price. Just depends. They're the King and Queen is a di different formula, the way you could tell by the glitter. So. It just really depends what you're into. And then for the bag, was this really worth $36? Probably not, but I really liked the look of it. And I think for traveling, it's going to be super cute. And I really like this color, so it's just opinions. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helps you with all your questions about these little products that I tried out. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye, guys.